I'm like, how in the hell is he nearly three? Hi guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Bit of a weird time to be vlogging. So this is pre-recorded really far in advance. Um, it is the hottest day of the year so far. It's February the 17th. I think it's the 17th of June. It's so hot today. It's only like 34 degrees. Always asleep. My house is so hot. I'm literally sitting on the floor in my lounge because it is the coolest part of the house. Except for the bathroom. But I thought it would be a bit weird to vlog by a toilet. But anyway, today's vlog is what we got Orlando for his birthday. I'm going to show you his decorations first. Because I'm filming this so far in advance, I actually haven't got everything. But I've got enough to show you. And I've just finished buying his birthday presents. And I thought I would film this now so I can hide them all underneath his bed so he can't find them <laughs> um i have not brought wrapping paper forgot to buy that um but if i had i would be wrapping them now as well but i'm not so let's get started i've just realized how bad the lighting is here like my tv is literally here i don't know if you can hear that and this is my store but anyway we're gonna get started so i'm gonna show you his decorations first for anyone that follows me on instagram you know about my son my son is orlando he will be turning three on the first of august he is potentially autistic he has a social and functional communication disorder he also has the pika and um, so lots of medical stuff going on with him um, which means that his interests are very limited and also the type of toys that he can play with are not typical for the children of his age um, I've looked up things that people at the age of three tend to buy their autistic children. However, the things that I'm finding online are for people that have hypersensitive children, which means they're really overstimulated by sensory things. Orlando, we believe, is hyposensitive, which means he is understimulated, which is why you see in a lot of my vlogs, he's headbanging and things like that. Um, but he does love cars. The noises, the movement, he loves cars. So for his theme this year, we are going for a racing theme. And um, when I started buying this, he loved the movies, cars and planes, and he still does. Um, but we're trying to broaden his horizons a little bit. So we're going with a racing theme. So first up for his birthday party, we've got red tablecloths. And then I'm making the picnic boxes this year. So I'm just going through finding everything probably should have done this beforehand but Aubrey's quickly asleep so I thought I might as well film this now okay well that's great I can't find all the stuff I'm looking for it's in that bag Jeez, madame found them no no I haven't found them <laughs> oh no have I lost them no. Cool, got them. So yes, red tablecloths. And then all the kids' food is going to be in these checkerboard flag food boxes, which of course I still need to make up and buy the food for. Um, they're not having cups or anything like that because um, we're just going to do fruit shoots. Makes it easier and bottles of water. But on the table also, they're going to have these. These are Lightning McQueen face masks. Some reason i've got a hell of a lot of these i've bought these on ebay and some better than selling them for dirt cheap so they're gonna have those and they're also gonna have these plain cooters which orlando will love because he loves noise um i've also got some lightning mcqueen napkin skull on the table some planes bunting i am hoping to get orlando a like personalized birthday banner but i've yet to get that i also found online a dusty crop popper like giant balloon i'm not going to fill that with helium i'm going to fill it up with normal air and just like make a column myself this year just to try and cut back really um and then i found a giant lightning mcqueen one too and then the ones that i will get filled up with helium are these ones so this is a lightning mcqueen and then on the back it has cruise and jackson storm and then I also got a Plains Dusty Crop Hopper. It's also got the skipper in the background. Um, so all of this stuff, guys, is from Amazon, eBay, and Party Rama, I think, did a few bits. Um, if I can ever have time, I'll try and find the links of where I bought everything and put it in the description box if you were looking at getting any of these. Um, I also have got the kids 
little balloons and I just need to buy some more of those sticks. I bought them last year, so they'll take a balloon home on a stick. And these are little planes ones. So you can't really see the designs there. Yeah, planes balloons. And then four, oh crap, I'm ripping stuff. Ah. So not bad. Oh, I also have this. I don't know where I got this from, but uh, this is a wall decoration, which is Carl's theme again. So whether we'll use that at home or, I don't know. I'm sure we'll find use of that. For the lunch boxes, I'm planning on making sandwiches, but I wanted them to be like more fun than just normal sandwiches. So I bought some lightning bolts and some planes, and I'm gonna plan to cut out the kids' sandwiches into these funky designs, which I thought would be quite a cute idea. Um, for the cake this year, I'm planning on making a two-tier cake. I'm going to regret saying this now because if you watch his birthday vlog, it probably didn't turn out two-tier. Um, bottom half is going to be racing, so Lightning McQueen top tier is going to be planes. So I've got some checkerboard flag um, ribbon to go around the bottom. And that'll have like red fondant and then like a lightning belt. And then it will also have, these are just all I know is normal play cars. Um, Mesa and Lightning McQueen sitting at the bottom as they're driving through. Um, and then on the top tier, I'm just going to put blue fondant icing with clouds using the cloud fondant cutter that I used last year for his Toy Story party. And put on this little dusty crop of a plane. Some lady very kindly gave this to me for free. I found it on Marketplace. She's selling a whole set and I was just like, I just want this one. I'm happy to pay for it. And she was like, no, she's had it. It's not in the greatest condition. You can see a bit of chipped paint there, but it's going to sit on the cake. It doesn't really matter. And then to go on top of his cake... I have bought this from Etsy. Again, if I find the company, I will tag them. So I was trying to find a theme like fast and free and things like that. And it was really hard to find customized stuff like that. And I just honestly don't have time. So I just bought this. I thought this was cute. And I these are all kept in like his memory box for when he's older. Not that he will ever reuse them, but I just thought it was cute. So yeah, I got that from Etsy. And then for cupcakes, because the cupcakes are gonna be going in the kids' party bags. And I'm going to be cutting the birthday cake for them to eat as dessert. Um, so cupcakes. I originally brought these. And these are plain themed cupcake holders. Again, from the party shop online. I'll try and find that link for you. But then I found these checkerboard ones. In Tesco. And I can't decide which ones I like more. Because I have actually bought some mini party toothpicks that have checkerboard flags in. But I don't know if that's too much checkerboard. But then if I did red, red icing, it would look nice. Whereas I think this clashes a bit. Yeah, I've decided I'm going with this. I'm going with this. Sorry, guys. So uh, could potentially be selling these at some point. Just to let you know. Um, and then the party bags themselves. They're having the cupcakes in them. And then I bought these. These are just a bag of rucksacks. These are off Amazon. So we're just playing rucksacks like this. I haven't asked her yet, but I'm going to ask Emma from Buttercup Gifts to do some vinyls for me, iron on vinyls. Then I can iron on the child's name. So they're personalised rucksacks that they can keep and actually use after the party and not just be a pile of rubbish. So they have the personalised backpack. Oh, it's more haters. And then each child, I know this is very boyish stuff, but it's just a lot easier in my life. And I don't want Orlando to see anything that is in the girls' bags that he then wants, or the girls see things in the boys' bag that they want. So each child is having this foam playing. No thing from my vlog before, Orlando loves these. Um, this is from Home Bargains. They're like one, two pound each, I want to say. So they're having these in the party bags with the cake. Um, and then they're having a balloon on a stick. And then I actually already bought thank you cards from Etsy. Just because I know after Alana's birthday, I'm going to be too hectic trying to hand write stuff, which I normally do. But I always like to say thank you. So I've just pre-bought these and I'm going to actually put them in the party bags. And they say, thank you for joining my pit crew. My party was awesome because of you. I enjoyed the cake and the presents too. But the best part for me was hanging with you. Thanks for making my party amazing, Orlando. And these actually fold up to become their own envelope, which I think is the smartest thing ever. So yes, got those. Uh, for the cupcakes, I've already got cases that I'm going to put them in. And then on the top of those, I'm going to put just these little stickers that I've bought again, I think on Amazon. And these just say, thank you for coming to my party. Love, Orlando. Cute, huh? 
So yes, that is all the decorate. Oh, and if you care, this is the candle I'm going to use. Famous and Home Bargains, and this was 79p, something like that. Yeah, they're all his decorations. Let me just show you his presents quick. Okay, so I've done a few of these vlogs. I think I've done them for every birthday that Orlando's ever had. And you'll see me buy massive presents, huge things, things that he may like that we're not sure about. This year, we haven't bothered doing that. We've basically brought car orientated things or things that move because these are things that Orlando is interested in and we don't want to buy stuff that he's not going to like because it's just a waste of money we don't have that money to waste so and a lot of it's cheap this year <laughs> I went cheap so from the Poundland I brought this ribbon he loves these movie ribbons and um, this was literally just a pound just touch the ribbon to the hook and just fly it around like I said nice and cheap but he will like the movement and a lot of these things he'll be into for about 10 minutes and then not touch for about two weeks then go back to them but then that 10 minutes is so important to him so yes got that from poundland i also got this rocket stomp launcher from poundland this was three pound basically just pop the rocket on the launcher push the pedal and it flies up in the air don't know how good it will be because it's from poundland but i thought it was worth a try anything else from poundland i don't think so oh so home bargains next we've got one of these hover footballs i've been looking at them for ages i don't actually know how good they are this was a lot cheaper than where you normally buy them i think entertainment is currently selling us for 750 this was three pound um he quite likes um aubrey's crawly toy that like crawls across the floor so i'm hoping he has the same sort of vibe with this um we'll give it a try for three pound if not you never know, or we might like it, but it does light up and glow as well, so he could be interested in that. And then from B and M, no, this is the only stuff got B and M. So I got him this projector light. He's not really into dinosaurs, but he does like lights. So I'm hoping that we can put this in his cozy corner in his room, and he just like looking at all the lights. Um, it was six pound, but I actually got it for three quid. Uh, so again, it's worth a try. If he doesn't like it, that is fine. Um, but like we said, we're just trying to broaden his horizons so that he doesn't get overly obsessed with just one thing because that could limit him in the future. Um, also from b and I got these water pistols. These are three pound each. There's two in here. Um, he doesn't really like... He can't shoot them. He doesn't understand the concept of it. However, he does love being shot with them. So... We are actually at Bun Leisure or Still Bay Resort, as it's now called, for his birthday. So if it's warm, I'll take this as like an early birthday present for them to play while we're there. Yeah, that was three pound. That was from B and M. I think my biggest bargain to date is this. So Orlando did get a tutu drag. I think for his second Christmas, um, but because it had so many tiny bits, it was like a parking tower. Anything that's up, he's just gonna knock it down. He thinks it's like a like a building block tower that you can just knock it down. So, Tutu was out of the mind for me. This was originally £50, and I got it for £12.50, which I think is a bargain. But it's not just the track that he'll be interested in this. It's the fire engine. I'll show you. So, it is the Tutu Fire Station Deluxe. It comes with this huge fire engine here, plus a little fire engine. I don't know if it comes with the police car. I doubt it. I highly doubt it. I'm hoping it comes with a big fire engine. I didn't actually check. Oh yeah, so it comes with a little fire engine and the big fire engine. So he's got two cars there to play with and it also comes with the whole fire station and the little track here. And I'm hoping because this track is so small, he will play with it rather than just destroy it. However, if he doesn't, he can literally just play with this fire engine set and the fire station so yeah that was 12 50 and that was from wilco i'm highly impressed with it and you can also roll the fire hydrant press the fire alarm turn the fire hose and flip up the launch flip up to launch the engine so wait and see but i thought that was worth it for 12 50. people resell these in marketplace for a hell of a lot more last up from shop yes Last up from shop bought things. Um, for his last birthday, he got Lightning McQueen track talker and Mater track talker. 
for Christmas last year, we got him the Mack truck, which is the track talker. And he does love pushing the cars and um, he's not that fussed about the talking, but he's interested when you put them in the back and, and they make a noise and react. So there's a new one out. And this is Sheriff. This is from Entertainer. You can get it in Smith's. You can get it everywhere. But luckily, they had a sale on. So this was 20% off. So this was meant to be £17, something like that. And I got it for £13. So... They do have another one of these. And it's um, Francesco. Um, I can't actually... I've never seen it in the shops. I've only seen it on Amazon. But, so that might be a Christmas present for him. But yeah, this is actually going to be what Aubrey's little present to Orlando is. And that was from Entertainer. Okay, so last up is stuff that I actually got from work. So at work, we have this... I'm not going to tell you where we're at. <laughs> you can probably guess if you follow me on social media. But yeah. Um, we have a miniature shop there. So kids can buy stuff on their way out, etc, etc. Like most places have. Um, I can't tell you how much I got these for because I got them at like stock value like how much my boss buys them for not the retail value so i will try and tell you how much these will cost you normally in the shops but i can't tell you how much i got them for if that makes sense i don't want to get shot in the foot for this so first up is this super cute toolbox set again orlando's not that fussed with the tools sometimes he is like the pliers and that and um, but it's more the case orlando, uh, dan has a drill case and he loves orlando loves the lifting up and the clipping and the carrying so this i don't think i've even got the price on it this is around six pounds i think it worked something like that the main reason i got this is because at work we have a power drill set so you can put the drill bits in the end of the drill um and basically just play with it like it's a real drill and my hope is that this will fit in there in hindsight probably not gonna fit but it's worth a try but at least it'll stop Orlando playing with dance because of course that's slightly dangerous this resells I don't know if you see that stick up in £9.50 so very happy with those they're different things they're still things Orlando's interested they're still things that move but they're not cars <laughs> um I also got Orlando a bat and ball set he loves throwing balls um these are very basic you can get them in pretty much every shop I think at work we sell them for £2.50 um so yeah it's just worth trying it um because he is quite good at catching to be fair so see if he will use these to catch um again if it's nice when we go to Seal Bay resort or bun leisure we will take these with us as an early birthday present for him next up we've got some puzzles so Orlando does have this one vehicle puzzle and he loves it i think mainly because it doesn't have the pegs on he likes rather picking them just up He's trying to find puzzles wooden puzzles that don't have pegs in are very difficult so but i found some so we sell these so i think four pound at work so we've got this farm animal ones and i'm hoping we can try and teach orlando the words or just the noises that the animal makes and then we've also got a jungle thing one with a giraffe a sloth lion elephant that type of thing so i do love those i actually saw these being sold in entertainer if if you're interested um next up we've got a wooden tractor and trailer set again i know it's a car but it's got animals in the back so potential educational toy there maybe um but all i know also doesn't have a tractor and having a hard wooden one is slightly better than just having some cheap plastic one that he's going to trash within three minutes and then lastly i'm going to give this to him on the morning he wakes up for his birthday as we're going to be in a caravan so what cute this is not the start of the caravan we're going to be in but i thought that'd be really cute to give him a caravan to wake up for on his actual birthday because he's going to open the rest of these presents when he gets home i'm not dragging them all to the caravan that's too much effort for me so yeah there's retails at 7 50 it makes noises and it's got pullback power and opening doors he loves opening doors so yes this is the last present that we got him and this will, will be taken on holiday with us that is it that is everything that we've bought him a lot cheaper year this year but it looks like a lot less but he's just gonna love it um my sister-in-law i already know what she's buying him and a couple of other people i know what they're buying him because they've already asked um because he's so limited it means that there's not that many presents to spread around and i know people don't like giving like vouchers of money which is fine but yes so that is everything i've just got to find some wrapping paper now 
I might have to buy some red. I tried to find checkerboard stuff, but it's so expensive. It's like more expensive than half these presents that I've bought. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you real soon. Bye.